Exclamation, everybody. And uh, welcome back to some more Mars Horizon coming off the the high of getting the Hubble in orbit. Is it, is it actually factored into the science now? Space Telescope. Yep, 54. Only a year's worth of science, though. Hmm. That's... That's unfortunate. But hey, we're getting a lot of signs income. Uh, September 1989 will be done with our current research on the uh, space station. So that's a thing. And our funding review is coming up. And actually, yeah, we're not. We need 42,000 to get to the next tier. So we're not quite there yet. But we got a good, got a good boost on them. So. Budget review. Quite a good boost, actually. Cool. So, what did uh, ESA complete? They're launching Space Telescope in 12 months. Oh, good on them. I just completed that, finally. <laughs> on the second on the second attempt. Um, man, the Soviets are at 23%, and we're at just freaking 16%. Uh, what's... Uh, ESA has caught up to us at 16% as well. Mars readiness. Man, the hell. This is what I get for launching all the long-term missions at the same time. Um, oh, that said, did I... Is that cleared from my queue now? Do I have a... I do have a mission slot available. Okay. I think I forgot that and I... Wasted a couple months here. Um, active missions. Uh, what do I want to do? What do we have for Earth. Anything? We're doing a grand tour. Uh, I don't have the space station stuff up yet, but we're getting there. That's being researched. What else do I need for that? Uh, space shuttle. I mean, I have these. Which is good. Having the space shuttle would be ideal, I think, as well. But we'll be third place for that, which isn't going to go to our challenge, our milestone challenge to finish second or above in three milestone missions. But we got one done. Um, it's expiring in 80 months, but we have the other ones in progress, right? So what's the... Uh, when's this done? This is done in 51 months. And this is done in 73. And the Neptune flyby is done in 13. So we'll actually be done uh, relatively early. So that's good. But I want to take some like short running missions just to get a few, get some science and other things. Uh, this also gives us some Mars radius. Anything that's like one month is good, ideal. Uh, Mars tech tests. We're 32. Science, 1%. Some attaboys. Uh, this gets us a bunch of money and 2%. So let's do that. Let's plan that. Uh, we'll do that payload. Go for it. Three months. Trying to get some quick wins. I, I don't want to do another long-term mission because we got three long-term missions going. I need this one to be just short-term stuff. Like one month or maybe just a few months. Like even just something to the moon and back. Uh, upper stage build cost, upper stage build time. Eek. All right. Back to vehicle. Design. Shall we use Abundance, Stalwart, uh, I think, might as well use Abundance because we don't need all that much boost or anything. Yeah, and this is all maxed out and it's medium launch pad, so yeah, we'll do that, load that up. Um, let's... Not do Martian space works though. Let's do something that will do it a lot faster. Maybe, uh, well, 81%. Uh, 
Now, can I do it in faster? Okay, well, this one's not going to lose us any attaboys because we weren't going to get any anyway, and they'll do it in two less months. So, bam. Do that. Confirm. Go for it. Want some quick turnarounds is what we're looking for. We're trying to SpaceX the shit out of this. <laughs> if we can. If we can. Uh, Alright. Our research is complete. Space station module. That's good, because I'd like to get the space station launched too, if I can. Optimal and suboptimal launch windows are reversed. Oh, fun. Oh, fun. Oh, we need crew for this. Okay. Um. So what is... Wait, before I do that. So any crew that can give me more payload reliability is good. Uh, launch reliability is pretty good. All right, so... You give me launch reliability, support reward upon mission success. Uh, where there is no support reward anyway. Plus one power, plus one navigation. Science reward. Uh, do we even have a science reward for this? No. So that doesn't matter either. Might as well get the launch reliability and power do that firm uh we'll train up on the payload reliability and we'll go for november percent more payload reliability go for it two months uh research let us research the space shuttle that started for our so we have that going for the space station I think that'll be my next milestone thing that I try to do. Maneuvering evaluation, 77%. Payload reliability. And 99% launch reliability. Yep, we're launching today. That is for sure. Yep, and everything is maxed out. Auto resolve, what does this get me? Uh, 68% chance of success, 29% chance of outstanding success, only 3% chance of failure. Yeah, let's auto-resolve it. There we go. And they got to recover. That's fine. Um, what else do we have that would be nice and quick? Global positioning. Which to, a private company wishes to establish a global navigation system which will require the construction and launch of a suitable orbiting satellite. They want a GPS system. What is my reward for that? Launch escape system. The event of emergency ensuring their safety, astronauts will survive a critical launch failure. Hmm. A bunch of money, but only 1%. Uh, I kind of want to do the thing that's going to get me science and attaboys and 2% EVA, EVA repair exercise, which we've already done, I think, one of those. So it should be easy enough to just... Ooh. Why is the payload reliability so low? Hollow, Gemini, hollow. Why is the, why is the payload reliability so low? Oh, because it's, it's a modifier on the mission itself. Okay, select payload. Uh, we'll build that. 
Is that the train up the payload reliability on it? Auroras on Jupiter captured. A prominent space website has featured spectacular images of auroras on Jupiter captured by your space telescope. Auroras are created when high energy particles collide with gas atoms in the atmosphere near a magnetic pole. Gain 200 support. Wait. We got 200 attaboys. A little bit slightly closer to the next tier. Not quite there yet. Next phase of Neptune flyby and the Grand Tour are up together. Here we go. Neptune flyby is ready, and so is Grand Tour. So I think this is the final phase. Yes, it is. So the Neptune flyby, so let's do that. Again, we're just going to go for the minimum we need to complete it. February 1990. Oh, 10, 13, and 4. 10, uh, signal 13, data 4, navigation, and we got to worry about heat. We're going to lose 3 heat every turn. And we got to keep above 0. All right. All right. So, what's our, we have 10%, we have 90% chance of success. Um, so, might not have to worry too much about power. Do that. Get some heat going. Um, We need 10, 10 data. So what if I were to do... Not data. Um, and signal. But signal is going to be... Uh, maybe a little bit easier to come by because of navigation. If, as long as I keep pumping a whole bunch of navigation into it. Um, yeah, because I'm kind of thinking here... We can push the heat up pretty high because it's going to keep rolling back down. Um, yeah, let's do that. Ooh, 93%. percent getting even additional data. Or navigation, I mean. So, so what do I want to do? I guess um, a lot of this stuff costs heat. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, I can overload the data. Well, I could just do one of these, right? And then do this. It's as darn close to where we need to be in terms of data. Uh, do that again, and then do that. Right? There's no upper limit. So... It gets us that, and then three power. Uh, let's. Recharge there. For the sake of argument. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I recharge now. Um, just by one. Yeah, no, resist that. Q 
go. Okay, um, here's the question. Will it let me actually complete tasks? <laughs> Given that heat is constantly decaying, I don't know if it will or not. Um, but I'm tempted to just kind of use this opportunity to just recharge. Actually, let's... Do one less recharge there. Right. Bango, bango. Bango, bango. Like that. That gets us the objective. Let's see what happens. It gives me a complete task at the end of this. That completed successfully. And that completed successfully. Yeah, all right. Complete task. Go for it. And our Neptune flyby is complete in first place with 500 out of boys. And then that gives us another 1,530 for the whole shebang there. And some more Mars experience. We're up to 19% now. Outer Planet Explorer achievements. So where does that put us? Ooh, that puts us uh, a little bit closer. A little bit closer to the Soviets. Not as close as I'd like to be. We're still 4% behind them. Whereas we were 5 so we gained a little bit of ground, but not a whole lot. Uh, let's see what happens now with our next phase of the Grand Tour. Which is still like... We still have three more phases here. This is going to be a thing. Um, four hundred twelve, nineteen hundred eighty science. Four hundred twelve, thirteen twenty, twenty one. Oof! All right. Well. I guess we're, I guess it's now or never. This is, because this is, they're not kidding when they were like, this is formidable. Yeah, it is. It quite is. Wow, oh, 23, 23, and 5. Ugh. And heat to deal with. Keep above zero and keep below four. Heat will be reduced by two at the start of the next turn. Oh man, it's like they're throwing everything at you. Um, okay. We need, what, 23, 23, and five? Do this and do that immediately. That gets us... Out of the danger zone there. And we can't go below zero, so we're good. We just need at least one heat at the end of each turn. And it's six commands per turn. Um, and 23 signal. Like, there's very little things that generate signal. I mean, navigation generates signal. Navigation data and heat generates the most, but, like, just the one below that, the three navigation. It seems to me like... And we only need five navigation. So it seems like... I should... focus my efforts there. We have only 78%... Halo reliability, though. Got to worry about power. Um, 
Do that. Do that. And then... Yeah, I think... There's six turns, so I can be a little bit... A little bit... Um, cautious, but... Still need to, we still have a long way to go there. Like, I'll get to the signal... If I can overload the amount of signal we have, then I can really get some data as well. Um, as well as some navigation back. What do I need? I need 4, 8, 12, 16, 20... 24... Uh, like, 6 commands. That's like an entire turn, basically. A lot of navigation would have to go into that. But I can start down that path, and it's the data that I'm, it's the data that I'm most worried about because there's not a whole lot of things here that generate it, other than something that takes heat, which is the last thing I want to be playing around with because it's all these modifiers on the heat here. So I could start down that path now with that, and then. Um, at least start to get a jump on the data piece. So, let's see what we can do here. All right, what's this going to give me? Uh, your output reduced by one signal. Uh, no. Resist that. I need all the signal I can get. Oh man, another one in the row here. You're reduced by two data. No, I'm going to resist that too. Alright. Down to zero there on that. Uh, so do this. Get some heat back. Um, definitely need to recharge. Let's do at least two recharges here. Uh, what else? Um, this and this is 18. So we're getting a little bit ahead of the other curve there. Which is good. And then I can do another one of these because I'm not too worried about the, the navigation because I can get that easily. The so 20 and then 8. So we just need... Really to focus a lot on the signal. Again, I'm not too concerned about because I can just pump a whole bunch of navigation into that. So I think we're good there. There was one. What does that give us? Man's output will be increased by one heat. Um, that's fine. I'll take the I'll take the additional heat. There we go. Cool. Okay. Okay. So um. Twenty. Uh, do that twice. Do that. And oh.
Um, the signal that I need. I do this, this is gonna suck. Um I'd be better off doing that, right? I mean not really. But it would keep the heat at where it's supposed to be. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this and this. This 18 signal. And then do that. That's uh, 2022. Yeah, I keep low four. We're good there. Um, 22, 20. All right, let's let's roll with this. See what we can do here. Oh, we got a bonus uh, navigation there. Oh, that just barely succeeded. Alright, um, we're sitting good here as far as the objective is concerned, so that's good to see. Um, do this, it's as close, the objective. Um, I just need a little more data. Uh, which I could spend here with signal, right? And that gets us our objective. And our heat is correct. So then let's just use all the rest for recharging. Yes, I need it. I'm glad I did. Uh, resists. That completed successfully. Alright, complete task. Do it. Excellent. Phase four is complete. Successfully. It's getting to be more and more of a nail biter as we go. <laughs> it's like making me, making me turn gray before my time, friends. Before my time. Uh, let's go to the next event. ESA requests data. Following the success of your Neptune flyby mission, ESA has requested that your agency shares the scientific data obtained during the mission. They have stated the gesture would greatly improve relations between our two great agencies. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, 25 reputation, and they gain science. That's fine. Um, next event. Our payload is complete. Payload reliability is 51%. Contractor effects decreased by 50%. Oh, that's bogus, man. Bogus. Also, we have another mission slide. Oh, that's right, because our uh, our Neptune flyby is actually complete. So, oh, and there's no design that will work for this. Fun. Fun, I say. All right, well, we need 4,500 minimum. We'll do that. Like that part, upper stage booster. 
81%. That's good. We'll take that. Uh, upgrade. I need something that will give me more payload reliability. There's less build costs. I mean, that's kind of nice, too. I don't have anything that's going to give me payload reliability, though. So we'll go with composite casing. Uh, one of these contractors will give me payload reliability, though, right? I believe. Yeah, they do, but only 5% because of the thing going on. And it'll cost more. But it'll give us a little, like an additional 5%, which is something anyway. Because contractor effects are decreased by 50%. <laughs> fun uh select that and we'll save it save that design confirm build it 11 months for that we get to the next tier funding not oh we're just like so close to it we got nine months get some more attaboys and i don't think we're going to unless there's some of it oh actually you know what we do have a uh we have a opening in our things here um space station modular space station uh we got we got two of these done that's good we just need one more there we'll get our 50 percent reward um we do regular space station or modular do we go jump right to that and be third place there's a question each of them are just one month, and this gives us more science and Mars experience. I'm kind of going to go, I'm kind of rolling that way, I think. Um, because, I mean, I eventually want to do a regular space station, but you know what? Like, this will get us some more stuff. So, do we have the parts for all that? Kind of. I mean, we almost have the space shuttle and stuff. We have all these other things, so... Let's go with that. Plan that mission. Payload will be Zarya? Zaria? Zaria? I guess that's how you pronounce it. 76% payload reliability. And I guess we're just going to go with the standard. Sure. Standard payload. Build it. Six months from now, it will be built. And our Mars readiness. Is at 19, as we saw before. Okay, it hasn't changed yet. Um, I mean, that's good that that'll be done prior to our funding review, I suppose. We have a bunch of money, though, which is nice for a change. Um, and... Yeah, how's our diplomacy looking? We're... ESA likes us. This Chinese are, aren't... To, I mean, they're they're okay. They're okay with us. Japanese like us. All right, Soviet hate us as per the usual. Um, what did they launch anyway? Complete it phase one of Saturn Orbiter. Saturn Orbiter, really, really. Jupiter, Saturn. I haven't even done a Saturn flyby yet. Uh, Japan has a launch schedule for in next month. So, I mean, I could even do that, but that's, that's another like 37 freaking months. See, I don't want to do something that's going to take that long right now. I mean, I do have a, I do still have a slot open though. I guess I could do something that's going to take that long. Right? Cause. Cause stuff, uh. Space station, production in progress. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I guess after I do modular space station one, we'll do another long-term one. This one has what, 109 months left? Or, I'm sorry, 36 months left. This one has 58 months left. Yeah. Yeah. We can do that. We'll have to do, well, I'll have to do something like that just to get, get some of these flybys done and get my 
just boost up my Mars readiness as, as much as I can, as fast as I can to try to get ahead of the schedule, ahead of the curve here, because I'm, I'm behind. It's not April 1990. We're not even ready for Mars yet. <laughs> Go figure. Go figure. Um, but our space shuttle is almost done, and that seems like that will be done before the space station's ready to launch. Uh, let's see. That will be done June 1990. It's going to take six months just to build this. So, major, yeah, so that'll be done in two months. So that, but we'll have the shuttle ready to go for all that, which will be good. I hope that'll increase the reliability of it. Uh, and all those things. But I see by the clock on the wall, we have hit our limit for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.